firefighting involves going into these confined spaces for the most part of attacking the fire. One of the byproducts of fire, however, is smoke. The other byproducts are various toxic gases that are produced from the burning material. Ventilation is the process of removing that smoke or controlling its movement. So in order for us to be able to function and to help the people who may be trapped by these gases, we can manipulate the smoke and get it to go where we want it to go in order to help protect the people and make the area safe for occupancy. We use the dollhouses because it's a disposable item. Easy to assemble, easy to put together, and when it's finished, we just throw it out or consume it in another one of our props. We got the idea of using the dollhouse from a gentleman by the name of PJ Norwood, a deputy chief from New Haven, Connecticut Fire Department, posted online. At the Emergency Training Center here at Lake Wing College, we teach theory concepts by classroom activities. The second thing we're going to do is then go out into the field using our dollhouse technique with a living room, bedrooms and upstairs and downstairs, light it on fire and actually see smoke movement. One of the concepts that created with improper ventilation is the generation of a backdraft. They've made movies about backdraft and they're very exciting. However, in real life they're extremely dangerous. So in order to realize that situation, we can scale it down to a dollhouse size, thus create the exact same effect and not risk any safety or compromise the, anything associated with the response. The third way we do it is in full size application where we go to our burn tower, where we have artificial smoke, create real life situations and then ask our firefighters to go in there and put out the fire and control the smoke and the toxic gases. Our college motto is take the lead and because we want to take the lead we thought this is a brilliant way to show real life effects without exposing people and compromising safety.